everybody welcome back to another video the tea on mpd and relationships hello everyone to all of my new subscribers and new family members hello and welcome to my tribe and family at large family y'all know what time it is welcome back thank you all so much for coming back and of course watching another video y'all know i love to always mention our thursday y'all Thursday, Thursday night live streams. This is where we go from healing to wholeness to boldness. You don't want to miss that Thursday night live stream. Listen, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We go live right here on the channel. I'd love to see you there. 5, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Y'all, come on out. Jump in the chat. Grab a snack. Come on back and talk with us a while and sit with us, all right? And y'all know every time we drop a video on the channel, the goal of the day is 2.1K plus, plus, plus on the likes. Y'all know if your rocks with your girl, hit the that like button hit that like button hit that like button i need y'all to hit that like button for you girl all right all right y'all let's jump into the topic of this video let's get right to it okay so i want to talk to you about um when the narcissist actually cares okay most of the time they're very dismissive uh about the relationship they're very dismissive about the things that you're asking them to do the things that you're asking them to change you know about them okay because a narcissist doesn't want to be first of all told that they need to change i mean who are you to tell them that they need to change they're perfect right aren't they perfect they're perfect so who are you to tell them to change something okay so anyway when so they're dismissive about, you know, things that you want them to change, things that they know they need to do, things that um, they know it is basically tearing or wearing down the fibers of the relationship, if you want to call it that. So they don't really care about a lot, you know, and this is why they're very shallow. You know, they're very shallow individuals. Uh, they lack They lack depth, you know. Uh, they don't have the ability to go the distance in a relationship. We already know that, okay? And that's due to the inability to be vulnerable. They choose not to be vulnerable. They choose not to love because love requires vulnerability. A narcissist is not going to give you that. They have a wall there. That wall is going to stay there, okay? They don't want to offer vulnerability because vulnerability is very uncomfortable for them, okay? So... What happens is you have a lot of time and space with these, you know, with these individuals, these birds where, you know, they're just pretty much in the dismissive mode. You know, you're working and you're going hard. You're going hard trying to um, make the relationship work or the addiction ship work. And the narcissist is watching you plug away, you know, like a hamster on a wheel. They're not going to do anything about it. OK, and that's with good reason, because they don't have the ability to be intimate and they don't have the ability to be vulnerable. And even if they did, they weren't they're not because of the pathology of the disorder. OK, that disorder is ingrained in them. It's a it's a rinse. It's a wash, rinse, repeat and keep going and going over and over on the same thing. That's just a narcissist. Right. So when we talk about what they at when they actually care. You have to understand that narcissists are driven by adrenaline. They are driven by um, dopamine. Um, they are these are these are people that enjoy uh, they enjoy a chase, okay, and they enjoy being chased, okay. So when you understand that, you'll understand why they never really cared, you know, in the times that you needed them to. And when do they actually care about what's happening or what's going on? Okay, so here we go. Now, a narcissist uh, is not going to care during the time where you're basically um, pursuing them, okay? They like the chase, but they, they, enjoy, they enjoy making you work, okay? They enjoy that. They don't care about your feelings during this time. Like, you know, some of y'all going to testify in the comment section whenever, you know, you had gone on a break or whatever and the narcissist discarded you and they left you with no closure and you were trying to figure out what was going on. You know, you calling the narcissist back and forth, back and forth, trying to figure out, okay, what is happening? Why are, why are we going through this? The narcissist was enjoying that. 
okay? Not that they cared about it. You know, they just enjoyed the, the, the fuel that they received from the chase, okay? But there is a time when they do care. And there is a couple different times when they do care. Number one is they care when you don't care. There it is. They care when you don't care, okay? When you have just basically left that situation where, you know what, and I know y'all gonna talk about it, when that narcissist saw, number two, that you had taken on a position of apathy, they care about that too, okay? Not just when you don't care, but when you don't care forever. Because apathy is meaning that I, I don't move from just not caring to I don't care what you do. I don't care how you do it. I don't care who you do it with. I just don't care. Okay. When you get to that place, a narcissist cares when you don't care. Why is that? Because they want you to care. They really want you to care. The one, And I've said this to you all before. One of the worst things that you can do is basically show that narcissist apathy. That's one of the worst things that you could ever do to a narcissist. They don't like that, okay? They don't like the fact that you don't care. They hate it when you don't care. So what they do is when you stop caring, a lot of y'all know what happened when you stop caring. What did the narcissist do? They started chasing you again, right? They started blowing your phone up, calling you, calling your family, calling the children, doing a, this is when you can have the attention of a narcissist. Then it, it, this is this time only this at this time and this time only. Okay. And also when usually when a person, when you all stop caring, when I stopped caring, this is when they go on that hot pursuit of you. A lot of you all saw that uh, the uh, obsession with you come out during that time because they know they can feel when you have actually emotionally disconnected with them. This is why I tell y'all this thing is spiritual. Okay. It is very spiritual because when, how is it that they know when you've disconnected and they told you, I felt like you were just, we were not connected anymore. Yes. They telling you the truth. They telling you the truth. When you get to that place and you say, you know what? I don't care what you do. I don't, I don't want to talk anymore. When you stop talking, you stop trying to save the, the uh, relationship. You stop trying to make sense out of insanity. Okay, you trying to make insanity sane? Yeah, no, you can't do that. But see, when you stop that, what you do is you activate that abandonment thing inside of them and the rejection, okay? See, this is what becomes activated when you stop caring. And the narcissist can't take that because they don't want to be rejected and they're afraid of abandonment too. Those are two core wounds that they have and they hate shame. OK, because they know rejection is usually the, pre the precursor. They know that if you rejecting them and pretty soon they're going to be ashamed of themselves because if you don't want to come back to them, they're going to have to explain something to the people around them. OK, so when you stop caring, you hit that, you activate that abandonment in them and you activate that rejection in them. And they just I mean. A lot of times they just can't handle it. They got to stop the onslaught of those, the onslaught of the thoughts that they're thinking. Oh, you know, people are looking at you like this. You look stupid. You look crazy. People are thinking this and that about you. This is what's this. All of this here is going on in a narcissist's mind. So that's why you all see them pursuing you so much. And they're like, I mean, like for real, like in an obsession, like to the point where some of them had started stalking you all. Because when you activate that that uh, rejection and that abandonment wound, that that those two triggers inside of them, you see a whole nother side of them come out. Yeah, you see a whole nother. So so they start caring then. They start caring. And why do they start caring? They're not caring because they're caring about you. They're caring because what is because of what's happening to them on the inside. They can't take that, y'all. That's why I said when you all get ready to bounce, when you get ready to get up out of there, listen, the best thing that you can do is give them the gift of your absence and apathy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Because if you ever want to see them go off, you ever want to see them squirming and squalling, stop caring. See, the only time they care is when you don't. 
Because as long as you care and then they still have you emotionally invested in them. And they still have a door open that's that the, the revolving door is still going, you know, in your life. And that's okay. For them, that's perfect. Even though that even though their intention is to never treat you right, then to never uh honor you, to never respect you, it does not matter. They just want that emotional gate continuously open to them, which is the gate to you know, the gate to your soul. So you stay there in that soul tower, what we call a demonic stronghold with this individual. And the devil is a liar. So that's why. When you were trying and going back and forth with the narcissist and you were and you're like they were just didn't care being disrespectful and all of that. That's why. Because you were chasing them. You were doing all the work. See, the whole game is while you're working, they're disrespecting you. Right. And when you stop working and make them make them work or, or you tell them, no, that this is not. See, at that time, then and only then is when they care and they bring out that false person, that false self that starts love bombing you and future faking you again. Yeah, that person. Yeah, that mask. They try to put it back on their faces and then it don't last but like a day or two and it's gone again. Yeah, that part. <laughs> but y'all listen, this is when and only when. A narcissist is going to care because otherwise they could care less. As long as you're caring, they're not. But as soon as you don't care and you're done with the situation and you've totally disconnected yourself from the situation, that's when you're going to see that hot pursuit of you. And you need to let them just keep on pursuing until they find something else because you don't need to be anywhere around. Your phone number needs to be unavailable, email, text messages and everything else. Because let me tell you something, they're not coming to do anything different from what they did the last time. All right, family? So listen, I wanted to get this out here for you guys. I love you all. Be really good to yourselves, okay? And take really good uh, care of yourselves. And I will see you all on the next video. And I will see you all healed and whole at the top. Shalom, family. Peace.